Is there anything more annoying than a telemarketing call? Ugh, everybody can always at dinner time now at any time of the day, actually. Well, now a developer has come up with a way to get back at those telemarketer calls. The Jolly Roger Telephone Company is a robot voice that answers with hello and keeps the conversation going. So when you get the phone call from the telemarketer, yeah, you manually conference in the robot. The robot stays on the line answering yes, no, <laughs> hang on. And the goal is to keep the call going and consume the telemarketer's time and patience to drive them nuts the way they drive us yes. nuts. Just making a living, but having said living. that, I know they're trying to make a I living. I used to be a telemarketer. Oh my God! I used to call. What happened? It, it, I got fired, but I did it. <laughs> I did it because it's tough. People don't want to be on the phone. Sometimes you got to try to get in. What's your opening line? Hello, hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, know anybody's gonna. Because I'm not a good salesperson. No, there's yeah. nothing more rude, and I'm sorry for your telemarketers out there. They, on my phone, I cannot even have my phone on ring anymore at my house in Los Angeles, and I don't have cell, cell phone service. Yeah. I have to put it on silent because every 45 minutes, there's some 45 minutes, and I call the phone company, I go online and put your, your number in. Okay does not block anything. So what do we do that? So I would use this in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. I love this idea. But you know the sad part is they can now have cell phone numbers and I get, I get I telemarketing. Know. How did they get Pets, that? Cell phones, I make my little one. We have a landline still just for emergencies. I make our two year old answer the phone and like, you know, and I say, ah! And she's like, hang And they hang up instantly. But I was like, because it's a game. Go get the phone. I don't know how this is legal. I really don't. This should be illegal. But just they don't take you off the list. Like, no, you I asked know. to take off the list. They don't but take you off the list. But they get numbers times. from somewhere, so you have to be very careful about where you're putting your number. No, they got it Because nobody the... hardly calls me. No, the phone really? company. Because yeah. you don't put your number out there? Nobody calls me. Do you want to? <laughs> well, you don't want that, for sure. <laughs> Sometimes you've been walking down the street when someone throws a cigarette butt in your path. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Often still lit. Well, good news if you live in Illinois, an effort to curb, in an effort to curb litter, the state has made it illegal to toss cigarette butts on the ground and the fine for first-time offenders. Uh -huh. First-time offenders, it's $1,500. By the time you've done it three times, I believe, you can serve some time in jail for this. What is your... I'm not sure if that's good, but what's your take on this well, overall? Well, why would they do that? I mean, what? where are you supposed to throw it? In your hair? I mean, oh, you want to put it in your hair? People put, sometimes there's not a garbage can there. Hold right. it and put it in your butt. In your hand. It's not gross. inconveniencing you guys. Like, there's a lot of stuff on the streets. A cigarette butt on the street is it fine. It adds up. Just because you one thing it adds up over time. 1.69 million pounds of butts end up as toxic waste yeah. Yeah. every year. 1.69 million, million. Yeah. and yeah. most are not biodegradable. I I'm, I'm quitting. I'm, you know, You're, are you really quitting? Are you really quitting? I am. Quitting I, I mean, I'm holding. On. Listen, first of all, this is not my hair, so I can't just be holding flames around it. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I got to drop it somewhere. But Greg, get like a, do something with it. There's nothing more annoying than seeing a lit cigarette on the ground. We yes. all put them out. Okay. Yeah. And then if you have it, put it out and put it in a trash can. But what's the difference between throwing a, a candy wrapper on the ground and then throwing a cigarette butt? It's the same thing. Everybody needs to get a time for that. Yeah. That's right. No, there's no big deal about throwing a cigarette butt. As opposed, I don't know. Worse. Because it, it is. It's worse thing. than a candy wrapper, yeah. I think. You know, all the sometimes toxins. Sometimes the are. pigeons, they want a cigarette smoke, too. Yeah. <laughs> That'll kill them, actually. Well, no, that's pigeons. Maybe not that. Cigarette wrap. It'll be interesting to see if other states catch on with this, you know. Well, be, do yeah. Okay, finally, ladies, by applause, how many of you believe that the guy should make the first move? You think <laughs> 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 Yeah, the top oh, right is not so clapping. Passion. And how many of y'all single that just clap like that? I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> Well, one guy in a recent Cosmo.com is pleading for women to go for it first. Yeah. He says even overconfident men are terrified of rejection. They're relieved when a woman makes the first move. He says the odds are 75 to 25 that a man will be receptive to your advances. That's wrong. 75 to 25. That's, that's wrong. Will be. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling them to go for it, the women. I, no, I said don't. Let me oh. tell you something. Ladies, wait for a man to come to you. I'm telling you, I've been the one hunting and praying. And that's why I'm still in the woods. <laughs> don't do it. You gotta get, you know, men like a little bit of a chase. Let them come to you. No, then you can but men like, like a, a confident woman, woman too. Uh, first of all, Lance, you don't like women, so uh, please. I'm, I'm gonna... <laughs> I've kissed a lot more women than you have, so I think I know what I'm talking about. <laughs>
kissed a lot more women than you. Trust me, I know, I know what, what it's like. I love when someone's confident and they come to you. I think, I, it's, I think you have to be at a certain place in the relationship. I think the fir very, very first move, I think men like to go after a woman. It's like their hunt and gather nature. They want to go like after to a woman. I like to be gone after too. Yeah. Yeah. It's true, it, it can be sexy. It's, I applaud a ballsy woman, like a woman who goes for it. I always like, have you ever done that? I do oh, it all no, the time. No. I'm telling I, you, it keeps me single. I'm always yes. like, what's up? How are you? Hello? Hi. My name's Yamanika. Always. And I'm single as hell. Well, that is weird. I wouldn't go up to someone and be like, hi, oh, I'm going to kiss you now. And I just met you. That, <laughs> no, that, that is I got excited strange. for a second. Yeah, well, I was no. like, oh, OK. Yeah. You well, changed.